yesterday was launch of Aptos blockchain. So this is pretty impressed. We seen launch of mainnet, which is fully functional mainnet on we were we all was waiting for. So that's uh, why I should speed up with this tutorial. So let's go ahead and speed up it. So basically, in last video, as you may see, we created some module that only return us uh, return the simple value, uh, which is hard coded on the blockchain. So this is not very useful. This is more like useless for us because we could just simply create the uh, some uh, constant value or the other thing, but. It was just example how easy you can create the move module. For now, we want to create something more advanced like some storage. Because as you may know, that module which we did is only uh, something static like uh, a website which was created with HTML. Basically, you cannot edit anything on the site because when you refresh the site, the everything, it just what you just type on the site disappear because this is only static static version of the module. We may create something more interactive, like having some states, having some uh, more advanced structures, like the uh, more advanced structures, basically. I don't know how to explain it, but you will see in the future. We will create like types and other stuff only for the blockchain and we will try to interact with it. For this uh, video, we will create some counter and uh, basically before we start, we need to understand how the Aptos blockchain uh, really work. Actually, we need to understand the, how the transaction works. And then when we understand the transactions, then we may move further. So let's check it out. Okay, as you may see uh, on this uh, slide, we make comparison of the Ethereum blockchain and uh, the Aptos blockchain. Basically, it's simple comparison. Actually, we compare in here uh, blocks and the state of the uh, full blockchain. For example, let's say that the blockchain starts with first slide. And uh, what you may see in here, that only for Ethereum for now, that uh, we start the blockchain with values like the A got 100 uh, balanced like 100, the B got value uh, of the balance like 20, and uh, C got other balance. As you may see, the other card is other block. The blocks are stacked off, uh, on top of each other. So how? what does it mean? Basically, on Ethereum, when you want to find some transaction and you want to uh, like find out that the wallet X wallet A of other wallet got some balance. When you want to get this balance, you know, you need to find uh, this uh, wallet in deck of blocks. Like, that's why we may compare Ethereum to deck of cards, because each block is one of cards, you know, and you need to go through top to the bottom until you find the block which you're looking for. Of course, in block you got many transactions, so if you want to find the latest transaction, you need to go through all of this. The state of Ethereum transaction and also of Ethereum is not stored like in the one single case, it's more likely stored in all of these blocks and all of these transactions. So if you want to get balance of the some account, you need to find the latest uh, transaction of this account. 
to find out how many uh, coins did account uh, have before the transaction and after basically after this transaction because you want to get the actual balance so that's how it works that's why i stacked uh, this card on top of the other cause we start when we want to uh, find for example uh, how which balance uh, sorry when you want to find out uh, how many tokens got the a account you need to go to the block first which is on top and as you may see there's no a, uh, a account so we need to go a little bit further and then we may find the A. There it is. When it could it could be D in this block, so we need to go through all both of this block. And you know this is not efficient at all because you need to eat her each uh, eat her each block to find the actual block which is important for you. So this is not efficient at all. That's why Aptos created the state this is similar to solana that there is no solana to compare because uh, you know there's single state when you got uh, the actual data on top of the other so what does it mean it does it it mean that the data which which are the most important so which are the latest are on top always on top of the stack there's no basically there's no stack but we may say that there is to make it easier for you to understand so uh, let's see if we want to get for example like there's the the transaction on ethereum in here and on the aptos are the same basically but uh, you know there it work on uh, it work in the other way so that's why there's created other graph. So as you may see, when we want to find A in here, we need to go only once, we need to go one step back. And in here, we don't have to step back cause we got the actual data in here on top of the other, cause this data are the most important for us at this moment. Okay, let's go the deeper. So how the Ethereum, Solana and Aptos store the information. So basically Ethereum program stored the information in this state. As you may see, Ethereum program, uh, get, each program have the, them own state, which is uh, overrated, which is overrated when you make any changes in the state so basically when you want to change only one value you need to overwrite whole state to create the actual state on top of the other you know because you cannot edit single value you have to overwrite it as the as in this video uh, as in this example you need to overwrite the state because there's no other way in ethereum blockchain basically so as you may see the program own state in solana program do not own state program own storage basically program uh, is owner of some account on the blockchain in which you may create or in which you may put some data so that's how it works you may get some data uh, basically you may uh, get some account keep it using your uh, using your program and then tell the program that you want to uh, write in this account some data this account will be only for now for uh, when you of course get this account for the program this account will be only available for the program i mean available to edit uh, and that's how it works but on the Aptos uh, blockchain, it works on the a little bit other way, but pretty similar. Because we also have storage in some account, but the, in Solana, we always need to provide the... Uh, we need to provide the... Um, sorry. 
public key. I forget the word. We need to provide the public key of the account in uh, which we want to interact and, you know, which we want to overwrite or do something to get some action with this account. We need to always pass the account to let blockchain know that we want to edit this specific account. This account needs to be validated, so we need to pass this account and, you know, this is this is okay, but in most of cases, it's very, very, very problematic to do. That's why the Aptos came with the other solution when the all accounts are related to some wallet. Basically, when you deploy some account, basically when you deploy some code, uh, some module to Aptos, you create the program. And that's how it is all related. It means that your wallet owns some program and this program owns some storage. So how does it work? Let's check it out on our example in here. As you may see, for the dev example, we pass this wallet. So this wallet owns the program called uh, this wallet is owner of the program called Publisher. And in this uh, Publisher, we have uh, we have module Hello World, Hello. That allow us to create multi-structure programs without any problems. Cause like to find the one single program, you need to pass only uh, only uh, like um, owner of this program and then give a route to specific thing what you want to do, like route to function or route to storage. Like it works similar to folders on Windows, like you need to just pass a route. It's simple as as that is as simple as that you need to pass a route that allow you to interact with think what you want to interact so let's see this uh, ethereum program on state solana program on storage and aptos wallet on program which own storage it's as simple as that so in I see that I don't have, don't have enough time to in this video to let you know more about it. But in next video, I will create with you simple counter to show you how you may get some storage for the account and how you may relate the account with the user because we will create like account uh, account related with people with person interacting with module we'll create uh we'll create the um, counter for each person interacting with our counter that how will we do this and maybe in the another video i will show more about it so thank you for watching See you in the next video. Feel free to comment and down below. I will try to post another video this week. So subscribe and be here. See you.